So, Muay Thai girl versus Chilala. And Muay Thai girl's name is Bon Bon. Throws a roundhouse kick. Okay, she's probably a little bit new to this because she sort of flinches every time she punches. Or she's just really intimidated by Chilala because Chilala is, you know, a Wing Chun legend, right? Look at her. Getting put into clinch. Dude, Chilala's really trying some Wing Chun trapping in this. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Look at that. She's not reaching him. Oh! Clinched her to the ground, man. You gotta attack the exactly. Use your kicks. That's exactly what I was saying. Don't just kick to the body. Kick to the leg, man. Look at that. Don't play Chilala's game. Shout out Tai Quan. Tai Quan La Ge Bang Bang. That's what her. I don't know. It's probably some Taiwanese joke that I don't get, but Tai Quan La Ge Bang Bang is her name. So there you go. You saw that neat. There we go. Now, I will call out Silala. He didn't acknowledge those two knees she threw. Like, if you're light sparring, you have to acknowledge that if it were harder, those knees would have done something to you, right? So, Silala didn't acknowledge those two knees. But besides that, Silala is dominating this exchange. Like, he's so good at trapping her. Look at that. Look at that. She, she's covering up. Oh, swept her. Swept her. Okay, look at that. She's laughing. <laughs> Come on, you got jab, exactly, push kick. Throw those feel or straight moves. Exactly, there we go. Okay, she's learning, she's learning. So now they're gonna spar with the small gloves, which will hopefully see even more trapping and bridging from Chilala. Again, Chilala is not just Wing Chun based, right? He does Xin Yi Liu He Quan. But in this, I think we're seeing a lot more Wing Chun because. She wanted to see Chilala's Wing Chun. Look at her. Chilala, interesting. He's able to kind of swim his arms into a more favorable position while still attached to her. Like, instead of trying to get an underhook, again, this is probably something that Wing Chun people do. He just checked her kick. But instead of, okay, we attach and let me go to wrestling range, he kind of, hopefully I can show that to you guys again. He'll, he'll sort of feel your arm with his arm and then reach a more favorable position. Anyways, you guys who are Wing Chun trained, let me know what kind of theoretical stuff Chilala is actually showing. Because, you know, there's 80% of Wing Chun people who are like, he's not doing any Wing Chun. But then the real people who like care about Wing Chun's evolution, but also its authenticity will see Chilala. Did you see that? He was trapping her right arm with his left hand that was great let me just show that again because i was sort of talking through all this watch this so she's actually trying to parry too look at that. see she's actually trying to parry too watch watch out look what he does with his left hand watch this see he's trapping watch that see that look at that he pulls but also traps and attaches the arm to her and then off balances her Look at that, that was the shovel kick, the Notorious Wing Chun shovel kick. I like that they're having fun, okay. Obviously it's funny, it was the same when, when I started sparring Muay Thai after a while, and then I moved back to small gloves, I didn't know what to do either. I think she's too used to sparring with big gloves. This is gonna make every Tai Chi Wing Chun people make that excuse again, it's all about the gloves. It's 10% true. If you're too used to sparring with big gloves, which I think she is, you sometimes forget the differences between the space and the padding and etc. when you have the small gloves. I see it in her. Look at, look at you. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Chilala being very, very gentle. Uh, okay, here's round three. Oh, Chilala, they're going a little bit harder. They go a little bit harder. Look at that. Chilala getting double biceps. That's interesting. See, you have double biceps in Muay Thai too, but because of the bridging and the trapping and all that in Wing Chun, they might actually make double biceps easier to get. I gotta, I gotta explore this. I just don't know if... Oh, she got him. She got him. Again, Chilala didn't acknowledge that kick, man. I see there are some flaws in Chilala sparring. Twice he didn't acknowledge kicks of the opponent. <laughs> I swept her. <laughs> wow. Mm. Uh-oh. Got her a little bit. 
It's really interesting to watch these types of more chill sparring videos because you can start picking apart maybe why Chilala sometimes plateaus when he takes on higher level Muay Thai, Sanda, or MMA guys. And I'm going to tell you, I think it comes from that little sparring etiquette thing that he's not doing. Think about when you actually get kicked in the face, when you actually get need. You don't go, okay, I'm getting need, I'm going to keep going, right? You have to react. Don't overreact, but you have to acknowledge, oh, okay, I got kicked in the face, right? So like, what happens if you're sparring or fighting someone, you get kicked in the face. If you don't get knocked out, usually, you know, you have a reaction. So you can't just do what Chilad did. Okay, she kicked him in the face. He's like, ah, you kicked me in the face. That, that's, that's not how it works. Besides this little constructive criticism, I really like that Chilala keeps exploring. I'm sure he'll take away some stuff from sparring this Muay Thai girl. And I'm glad that there are Muay Thai people who want to learn slash test other styles. The thing about the martial arts is that it's just so cultish sometimes and it makes me angry. It makes me so angry. We're living in the 21st century. You can access curricula online of any style. So why pretend that you have all the answers? Make sure to follow this boy type girl. I will link you her channel and I hope she does more of these. I'll look through her channel and I'll see if she has more of these sparring sessions. We'll definitely do a live interview with Chilala soon. So Make sure to stay tuned for all of that. Okay, guys, Fight Commentary Breakdowns out. Maybe more videos to come today. Guys, this was Fight Commentary Breakdowns. Make sure to press a like. Make sure to press a share. And if you don't like me, which I know some of you don't, I hope you guys love me. But do it for Gus right here, right? If you like Gus, which I know all of you do. So please press a like for Gus. And leave a comment. Have you ever had a dog like this before? Let us know. What's your first dog's name also? Let us know in the comments. Okay, this was Fight Commentary Breakdowns out.